Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onan Guzman and our topic for today is Frequency Table of a Group Data with Excel. This is Module 4 of Grade 7 for Quarter 4. When presenting data, it is easier to read and interpret if it is organized. One of the ways to organize data is by using tables or frequency tables. So a frequency table is a tally of the number of times a data value occurs. It shows clear and definite information about a set of data. So the table is constructed by tallying or counting the number of times a data value occurs. The frequency of occurrences of a data value is called its frequency. Finally, ungrouped data or data that are not organized or if arranged could only be descending order or we can say this one as from highest to lowest or in ascending order or we call this one as lowest to highest arrangement. Let's have our example number one. So the following data are obtained in the survey on the number of gadgets had by each families. So we have the numbers. We have 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 3, 3, 2, 3, 5, 2, 4, 2, 3, 6, 1, 3, 2, 4. So this is your ungrouped data. Then let's try to answer the following also. So how many families were surveyed? Letter B is how many families have at least two gadgets? And finally, how many families have less than four gadgets? So with this ungrouped data, we will construct the table of frequency. Now, in order to construct the table of frequency, so what we're going to do is we will construct a table such that we have the number of gadgets, then we will have the tally, then we have the frequency. So we will tally the given one by one. So let's start from okay three so we have three here so right here three so by the way let's encircle that then we have four here let's circle also then another four then another four let's move on to the next column four again then we have five Then we have three and another three. Next, let's move on to the next column. So we have two. Then we have three. Next is five. Then we have two. Then we have four again. So whenever we reach 5, so this is the symbol for 5. Next, we have 2. Then we have 3. Again, we reach 5, so this is the symbol for 5. Then we have 6. Then we have 1. We move on to the next column. Then we have 3. We have two. And finally, we have four. So these are the tallies. So we can write the frequency now. So this is one. So we have four here. Then we have six. Then this is another six. Then we have two and one. If we will get the total of this, this is equal to 20. So this is how we construct the frequency or table of frequencies. So this time we will use the Excel file in order to construct the table of frequency. As you can see here, I have the, okay, ungrouped data. So we have actually five columns and four rows. And these are the questions. Later on, we will answer these questions. Now, I'll simply type in here the occurrence here. So, the number of gadgets, as you can see here, we have 3, 4, 4. Then, we have the next column. We have 4, 5, 3, 
3, then we have 2, 3, 5, 2, then we have 4, 2, uh, 3, 6, and finally we have 1, 3, 2, 4. Now, so we can easily construct the frequency of table using the Excel. So what you're going to do, so after encoding this number of gadgets as well as the frequency, so we highlight and then press insert. Then pivot table. So as you can see there is circling line here. So that is the location. That is the highlighted part. Next. So we will choose where you want to the pivot table to report to be placed. So for me, I will simply choose the existing worksheet. But I'll choose this location for my pivot. So as you can see here, this is the location. So that is I uh, dollar sign I dollar sign one. So that is then I simply put OK. So as you can see, this is merely black. Next, on the right side, side you can see the pivot table fields. So just simply uh, press the number of gadgets because that is the okay the location of our data. Then on values, click here. Then go to value field settings. Instead of sum, we will write or simply click count. It means we would like to count the number of occurrences. Then press OK. As you can see here, the num of, uh, count of number of gadgets is 20. So we have 20, 20 entries. Next one. So drag down the number of gadgets here. So since you check this one already or click this, drag it down to the number of rows. So as you can see now, we have now the frequency table. So let's double check. So a while ago, this is the item that we got. So we have one, okay, for the number. Okay, so this is actually the number of gadgets. So let's rename this one instead of road label. So we can rename this one as number of gadgets. There you have it. Instead of count of number of gadgets, uh, we can rename this one as frequency. So there, then press OK. So now, so again, so let's double check. So we have the number of gadgets. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And these are the frequencies. So we have 1, 4, 4, uh, 1, 4, 6, 6, 2, 1. Now let's answer the question. How many families were surveyed? So it means that there are grand total or there are 20. So that is actually 20. Next, how many families have at least two gadgets? So let's look for two gadgets or more. So if we will count, we have here 4, 6, 6, 2, 1. So the total is equal to 90. And finally, how many families have less than four gadgets? So meaning to say that is below four. So if we will have here, so we have six plus four plus one. So the total is equal to 11. Let's move on to our second example. So the following list shows the number of dogs in each of 30 families construct a frequency table for the data and this is the data so this is the group data as we can see we have six columns and four rows and let's try to answer these questions how many families have at least two dogs and letter b how many families have at most three dogs so this time we will use the Excel file in order to construct the table of frequency. So we have the data here. So we have six columns and we have five rows. And these are the questions. And later on, we will answer this upon constructing the table of frequencies. As you can see here, we have the number of dogs and these are actually the ungrouped data from 0, 1, 1, 2, 0 until I have here Okay, I have here the last entry. 
this. So what I'm going to do, like what we have done a while ago, is simply highlight the number of dogs until to the last entry, as you can see here. So the last entry is 2. Then press insert. Look for the pipe of table. So there we have it. Then we will simply choose existing worksheet. I'll choose this side. So this is, I'll press OK. Now that we have, now the pivot table fields. So I'll click the number of dogs. Then I'll go to the values. Click the number or sum of numbers. Then we have the value field settings. If I have that one now, I'll change that into count. So it means I have 30 count of number of dogs. Next one. So I have the number of dogs. I'll drop it to rows. So we can have now here. So as we can see, we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it means that this, this is the number of dogs. And we have here actually the frequency. So we can change the label by pressing again. By double clicking here the row labels. So instead of row labels, I'll change that one as the number of dogs. Okay. Then here, I'll double check the count number of dogs. So I'll change that one into frequency. So now that we have constructed the table of frequency or frequency table, so let's answer the question. How many families have at least two dogs? So it means we have two or more dogs. So we have here two. So we will add nine plus two plus three. So that is equal to 14. So there are 14 families have at least two dogs. Next, let's move on to how many families have at least or at most three dogs. It means we have, okay, at most three, so we need to say three going down to zero. So it means we have two plus nine plus nine. So this is equal to 18 plus 20 plus seven is equal to 27. So that ends our discussion on okay, constructing a table of frequency. Again, this is Teacher on in this month. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.